macOS 26, also known as macOS Tahoe, is the biggest update we've had in years. There's a new liquid glass design, a more powerful spotlight, and updated continuity features. Today, I'll talk about my top 5 favorites, so let's jump right in. Okay, just like Apple's other operating systems, they're bringing liquid glass to the Mac for one cohesive look. Your content reflects and refracts in real time, app toolbars and sidebars give you a sense of depth, and app icons were redesigned from glass. On the lock screen, there's an option to change the font and weight. When you go to system settings, wallpaper, clock and appearance, you'll see the same fonts as iPadOS and iOS. The slider will adjust the weight, and it transforms into glass. Now, when you see the time on the lock screen or screensaver, it adapts to the wallpaper behind it. For the first time, every app icon can have a new appearance with one click. In the past, it'd just be a light version, but you can always right-click an app, get info, then drag a new icon in for every single app. But under Appearance, there are new icon and widget styles. We have Default, Dark, Tint, and Clear. And check this out, as I scroll in Safari, the dock reflects the content underneath. And this translucency also appears in some apps like Music. When I scroll up and down, or left and right, you can see the music player and sidebar adapt in real time. And almost forgot, the menu bar has a new toggle to be completely transparent. It makes your display feel larger. Notification Center was also updated with liquid glass, but it mostly behaves the same. Control Center, on the other hand, is just like iPhone and iPad. It's the same layout you're used to, but now you have a lot of controls. There's battery, notes, accessibility, and you can also drag these controls to the menu bar. I'm more of a keyboard shortcut person, but I can see how this can be useful for some people. Alright, Spotlight received a big update. I use it a lot since it's faster to use a keyboard than a mouse. Like, if I want to open Pixelmator Pro, I press Command Space, type in a few letters, hit Return, and boom. But with a mouse, I need to open Finder, go to Applications, then scroll down until I find the app. When you first open Spotlight, you'll see a new animation with four circles separating to the side. This one for Applications, Files, Actions, and Clipboard. When you open Spotlight, typing Command 1, 2, 3, or 4 will open any one of these circles. Applications shows all your apps neatly organized by type. Mine has a bug, so it's only utilities right now. But you can also click on the headers. And with iPhone mirroring, your iPhone apps will appear as well. One thing to note is that this replaces Launchpad. So a four finger swipe in will open this application's view. Next to applications is files. And it's just like your apps, but for files. You have different categories at the top and your files are grouped by type. But again, mine showing a bug. The third circle is actions. And this allows you to take quick commands without leaving the app you're in. So I can be browsing the web, then open Spotlight, and type in Start Timer. Now I just set the duration, and done. And look at all these actions you can choose from. Calculator, Finder, Maps, Notes, you name it. Apple also added Quick Keys, so ST can start a timer, or SM can send a message. Now watch, when I open Spotlight, type in SM, hit Return, I can enter a message, type in the contact, and boom. For the last circle, we're finally getting a clipboard history. So I'll copy some text, and a link, and a picture, command space, command 4, and you'll see everything I just copied. But if you copy an image from a web browser, it shows up as a link. Copying from Finder works normally. To paste something, just use the up or down arrow to select and press return. I'm still playing around with the new Spotlight features, but it looks like it'll speed up my workflow. So macOS 26 has some new continuity features. And if you're deep within the Apple ecosystem, it feels like one operating system even though you're using different products. The first feature is Live Activities. Let's say you have Pixel Pals running on your iPhone, it'll now appear directly in the menu bar on your Mac, and clicking it will take you straight to the app with iPhone mirroring. Similar to iPadOS 26, we're getting three new apps, Phone, Journal, and Games. Instead of relying on FaceTime for calls, you now have a dedicated phone app. Hello? It has that unified layout with your favorites, recents, contact info, and a keypad. Plus, it has some features from iPhone like Hold Assist, Call Screening, and Live Translation. Journal Format gives you a larger display to work with and a better typing experience. 
I feel like journaling is nicer when you write it out by hand. But does anyone use a journal app? If you're one of the 10 people that game on a Mac, there's a new games app just for you. It basically brings all your games in one place, and you can browse for new ones to play, and even challenge your friends and family. Now, I want to end things off with some little details that I noticed. The first beta had the finder colors reversed, but now it's back to normal with a small outline. The trash icon was redesigned, and it's a nice looking trash can. Even the trash inside looks good. The hard disk icon is also new, but I miss the old version. This new one looks like an external SSD, and what are these three holes for? We're getting two new wallpapers. Tahoe is your blue and purple abstract wallpaper, while Tahoe Day is a nice scenery picture. Both of these also have a screensaver version, so they can slowly transition as a wallpaper. App windows have more rounded corners. Here it is compared to an app that's not updated. Apple is also adding some other changes that are on iPadOS and iOS 26. I have a separate video on both operating systems, so I'll leave it in the cards and link them in the description box below. Folders are getting customization options like colors and emojis. Messages will support backgrounds, and there'll be polls in group chats. And Photos has a new collections tab. It looks like this might be the last update for Intel Max. I'm still using the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, and thankfully, I still get all the new features. Mac OS 26 is a solid update from the liquid glass design, to an upgraded spotlight, to the new continuity features. Let me know what's your favorite feature in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!